and welcome to Retro Roulette. It's magically delicious. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Fort Joan. Yo. Jason Amherst. Hiya. And Billy Carter. Yeah, you know, I uh um uh I am um, also magically delicious. Uh, uh I my <laughs> nipples are I delicious. don't care really? about that. That's gross. Why would you even say that? Because I'm weird. I Yeah, no shit. Spin of the I wheel. Billy was going to go with the uh, Kung Pao reference there. My nipples look like nipples. My nipples. <laughs> My nipples. My nipples are looking like milk and duds. Ooh, oh, I feel like if there was ever a time to use a veto, it would probably be on this. Oh, God. Yeah, I know. Veto. What is it? Oh God, Romance of the Three Kings. I don't. I was gonna no. say, I was gonna say yeah. if just from that screen absolutely. there alone, absolutely oh, fucking not. Oh, I no, I know it's Three Kingdoms. Yeah, Billy. Yeah, go ahead. Oh no, no. Okay, enter the second century of China. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> the Oregon Trail of China. Nope. <laughs> at first, at first, I saw the. Th- I'm like, okay, well, what? What is it? Oh God, no, Lord. <laughs> No. no, Lord, is that was hell. Let's spin her again. Yes. All right. Uh, that was their only veto, so uh, we have to play everything else that shows up today. Very, pur- <laughs> very purple. Oh, I think I know what this is. Um. Hmm. Play fighters, play, play, play. Doomsday Warrior. I have. Mm. I, you can. I play this all the time. On, uh, I can. It's a you fighting have, game. You, I. You have. I can. You. You. I. You. Me. We. They. Us. Uh, we got Sledge. We got Layban. We got Lay-ban. Amon. Oh. Da- Daisy. Oh, Daisy. P-Lump. Penis Lump. <laughs> uh, short for Penis Lump, yeah. Uh, this what, go, this is, what Billy, keep... is what Billy used to look like. <laughs> yeah. Except... Gr- Grimrock. Oh. New. Oh, my God. That's just a dildo. Oh, oh. That's just a dildo. That's just androgynous a... Joe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so... Let's go with the spiky dude. Grimrock? Yeah. I like go with the I like uh I like the dragon. I like the Amon. You like what? Oh this that, guy. That Amon, yeah, so I, w- I would go for Amon as well. Alright. That's what I said, the spiky dude. Yeah, the, the fist of the North Star looking guy. Amon versus Amon. Oh. Uh pick your rival. Uh, let's see here. Um, P Lump! <laughs> developed by Lasersoft. I'm thinking either P Lump or the Dildo. Uh, which was. Uh, let's go with the Dildo. Huh. Okay, so Lasersoft was a part of Telenet Japan. Oh, so that really is Amon uh, Amarth. <laughs> it's a heavy metal king. Uh, Talonet Japan featured Wolf Team, who later would go on to become Namco Tales Studio. Interesting. Uh, their English branch was called Renovation Products, uh, which was acquired by Sega of America in 1993. Sunsoft acquired the entire library in December 2009. The fuck? Did, did, did we just have sex? Uh, I, 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 Oh, God! Huh. Wow, they've, they made a lot of weird games. I'm still trying to put together what to think about this. I a lot this. of ports. 
it is not game. Um, yeah, no, this this was just a really bad clone of Street Fighter. The player takes the role of a member of the Doom Squad, a group of fighters who are under the influence of Maine, a diabolical <laughs> sorcerer. Then no, the state of Maine. <laughs> Home of Stephen Diabolical King. Diabolical sorcerer or vengeful angel in Japan. It's Maine, uh, so I'm assuming character... Stephen King. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, character yeah. the player chooses betrays the Doom Squad and must battle... Uh, for the people of Earth. To win, one's character must fight the former comrades of the Doom Squad and can choose which opponent to face after every battle. Ability points are earned for winning each battle and are added to current stats. Arm power, leg power, defense, vitality, and soul power. Hmm. Uh, the seven fighters are the warriors who serve Maine. Except for Grimrock and New Form, they are from different parts of Earth. Sledge, the hot-tempered fighter and first warrior to betray the Doom Squad. Oh wow, these are actual straight up. They they actually just translated the names. None of these were localized in any way. Sledge, Sledge, Leban, Leban, Amon, Amon. Uh, muscle of the Doom Squad and frontman of his heavy metal band. Yeah, so I'm on a Marth. Yeah. Fat uh, Daisy. Bomber. <laughs> Daisy. P Lump or Popo Rampu. An overweight martial artist who breathes fire and uses his long braid like a weapon, like every fat guy in a beat em up game. Uh, Grimrock or Grimroku, a lizard man from an alien world. And new form, who in Japan is the the only one to have his name changed from Japan to English. New form, LC thirty eight X. In Japan, he was known as uh, Dildo. <laughs> no. oh, oh, oh. Uh, bosses. After your chosen fighter defeats the remaining Doom Squad members, that fighter faces off against Main and his two henchmen in three back to back matches. Shadow, a shapeless creature of darkness that can mimic any fighter and the first opponent in the final battle. Shadow takes the form of the player character. Okay, so it's the mirror match. Um, Ashra, main strongest warrior and second opponent. He resembles Ashra and... Oh, so resembles like the mythical Ashra from Indian religion, apparently. Not Ashra from um, Mortal Kombat. Uh, and has uh, incredible strength and demonic energy. And then Maine, whose Japanese name is... Daze Main. What? Daze Main? The, the sorcerer who commands the Doom Squad, final boss. He flies in midair and uses lightning, fire, and light to attack. Can generate a force field and shield and wields a sword of light. After Maine loses, he zooms into the sky and spares Earth and its people. Wow, what an anticlimactic well, ending. Basically, he sounds, he sounds kind of like M. Bison for some strange reason. Uh, Weekly Famitsu gave it a 24 out of 40, apparently. Uh, Power Unlimited Magazine gave it a score of 75%, calling it a boring beat-em-up. <laughs> Which is funny, because it's not even a beat-em-up, it's a freaking fighting game. I mean, this is a very bland looking, <laughs> like. So theoretically, depending upon the amount of health you have left, that's how much you can upgrade. That, am I seeing this correctly? Seems like. Yeah. And you can, you choose your opponents like Mega Man going from level to level, it seems. <laughs> Daisy, dancing plant. Oh, how about? Wee 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 wee. Ooh, some parallax scrolling in this actual uh, level. Yeah, this That's is kind of cool. This is the first stage, also. We've seen it when I was fighting the dildo. Right.
Mm. You know, this isn't really that bad. It's all right. It's kind of boring. It makes me wish I was playing Street Fighter. Very forward. mid. Yeah, it just makes me. It's wish not I was so much bad. It's just very too. kind of uh, dullish. I kind of want to see the ending of it, just because the way the ending sounds, it sounds so generic. <laughs> you know, I'm just imagining the villain going like, being like the ending of uh, the freaking Poochie episode. I must go now. My people need me. Mean bad guy died on his way back to his home planet. <clears throat> You'll never see him again. <laughs> Uh, okay, I don't appear to be able to leave this screen. Oh no. Everything's maxed out. Oh, you're fucked. Yep. The, accru the, accru the accoutrements broke the game. Did you bork the game because of the accoutrements? I really hope not. There's only one accoutrement on. <laughs> oh, dear. You're not supposed to become this powerful. <laughs> uh, He's too yes. powerful. We have to shut him down. Well, that's it for that. Thoughts on Doomsday Warrior, Dane? Like I said, it wasn't bad. It was kind of bland and boring, but it's, it, I wouldn't call it a bad game. Just like, eh, okay, whatever, generic fighting game. Not too bad. Jason? We have Street Fighter at home. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> Billy? I like the character designs, at least. Oh, yep. Buy one, get one free game. Bargain yeah. bin. If you dig all the way to the bottom of the dollar bin, you'll find this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a, just unfortunate. It just makes me want to play Street Fighter 2. Uh, yeah. It's a much better fighting game. Done kind of in a similar style. It's just like, eh. Why crib off of a game that's so immensely popular that there's no way in hell you're ever going to be able to outdo it, you know? Uh, it's true. Sc scores out of 10, Dane. Four. Jason. Four. Billy. Three. Yeah, I give it a four. <sighs> Spinning this bad boy again. All right, well, we're going to have to suffer through this. What is it? Jalico. Jalico, as it said. Jalico. Yeah. Japan Electric Company. Go. Go. Exhibition. I'll keep my clothes on, I think. Ginger snap. Ginger slap. No offsides, no fouls. Got it. Hmm. So it's it's just bedlam. Uh, man, it really sucks that I have to play. Wow. Uh... Well, who should I be? You should definitely be Arg. Argentina. Oh, sure. Arg. Why not? And you should totally fight. You should totally play school. So this is actually gold two, technically. Okay. Pump up the jam. Gold uh, two, the goal ending. Yeah. Um, because uh, this is actually an NES game that was ported to the SNES. Uh. Uh, which was also released in France. 
under the name of Voo Voo V Voo 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 Wee 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 Wee. Uh, you know, Billy, if you're not the French just... release, Jalico got an endorsement from French international footballer Eric Cantona, who transferred to Manchester United. So the French packaging is called Eric Cantona Football Challenge Goal 2. Uh, however, the SNES game Eric Cantona Football Challenge is an international version of the game Striker by Rage Software. So, ah. follow-up question? Follow-up question? Who the fuck is Eric Antonio? Whatever the... Uh, French actor, singer, and former professional footballer who played for Manchester United. Okay. From Marseille, France. Oh, no, it's Zidane. Head butt to the chest. Vuvuzela. Uh, Goal for the NES is a localization of Moelo Pro Soccer, the fifth installment of the long-running Moelo sports game series. The Goal video game series is a spin-off of the Japanese Moero series. Moero. Uh, Jalico followed Super Goal with Super Goal 2, a localization of Takeda Nobuhiro no Super Cup Soccer. Interessante. Yeah. All I know is that all your soccer players on the the uh, team with the dark color there kind of look like Ronald McDonald. Yeah, that's the Scottish team. They're all gingers. Yeah, this is this is by the infamous uh, Ghost Development Studio, Tose Software, who now, still exists. Say- this game. When you say ghost developers, what, what do you mean by that? They are almost never credited. They have been around since 1979. Their most famous products are the legendary Starfy series and the Game & Watch Gallery games on Game Boy. Uh-huh. Okay. But my god, they have developed countless games mostly ported for other companies. Um, Muscle for the NES, Mappy Land, Dragon Power, uh, which was the Dragon Ball game. Um, A lot of licensed games. A lot of licensed games. A lot of stuff for Bandai, a lot of stuff for Namco. uh, A lot of Dragon Ball Z games. Kid Icarus of Myth and Monsters on Game Boy, uh, Tetris 2 on NES and Game Boy, Yoshi's Cookie on NES and Game Boy, Kirby's Block Ball, um, mm. Nightmare Before Christmas, The Pumpkin King on Game Boy Advance, which was a Metroidvania game. Action. Uh, uh, wow, a Shin Megami Tensei game. Ah, piss. Double Summoner's Soul Hackers. Uh, Resident Evil Zero on GameCube. Lightning Returns Final Fantasy XIII. Ew. Yeah. Uh, World of Final Fantasy. Whoops. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Uh, <laughs> Wow, they, they even worked on a few of the SmackDown vs. Raw games, apparently, on uh, oh, Nintendo yes. DS, apparently. Mm. But, like, yeah, they, they basically, they've never really made their own games. They're basically contacted by other companies to make games for them instead. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah. Tose's been around for a long time, and it's just, hey, Tose, can you make this for us? Uh, yeah, sure. Scotland just ogled. It's game. So basically, when the one company is too busy making a humongous title, they're like, hey, can you make this little tiny title for us? Yep, That's pretty much basically. It. Uh, many of the corporations that have hired them include Bandai, Tomy, Jalico, Taito, Namco, and Tonkin House. Hmm. Huh. 
They even made Robin a Dana Cardass right. game. <laughs> oh god, they even made Chubby Cherub. Oh god. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Which, that's Pat. That's Pat. That's Horse Pat's that's favorite Pat, game. That's Pat. That's Pat. That's Pat. That's Pat. That's Pat. Horse pants, sure. which, <laughs> which again was something that they had to change for the United States because no, it was a uh, horse pants title. Horse pants' favorite game is Will This Fit? So, <laughs> a bucket of Kyotaro, one one paniku. A bucket of chicken gonna go fit up my ass. Can't will it fit? <laughs> now horse pants, the for... bone. We did not no! do the report! <laughs> I can't like do it there's a boot on my ass! Horse Pat, come on now. That's what I, yeah, bones. I'm trying to come on now. <laughs> no, horse Pat, you no, know that's not what I meant, Horse Pat. Horse Pat, I'm going to fart on your face, Horse Pat. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. <laughs> don't, fuck, don't make fun of Frank like that. <laughs> Frank make, is an angel. Make fun of him like this. Oh, I'm Frank. <laughs> hey, Frank is a national Frank's... treasure. <laughs> In Canada. Pat, on the other hand, can Pat, on the other hand, can eat a turd. Exactly. That's, but that's what I have for breakfast. <laughs> no. <laughs> After he was like, "Oh no, if I don't know you, I'm not coming on your show." It was like, "How do you go on anybody's show then?" How do you network? You gotta, yeah, you gotta I meet mean, new people to network, or else you're not gonna. Who, do, I mean, does anybody remember Pat now? No, is he still making new content? No, probably because he doesn't fucking talk to anybody. Well, no, he still is making. As last time, fucking Dunkle Tunt. I mean, but nobody fucking watches it. Look at these little we, uh, cute people. I mean, I understand we we had a small. We had a small channel. We had a small penis. But but if we could get Michael Ray Bauer. This is true. Show. We had one of the stars of and Salute Your Shorts and the movie Evolution on our show. Listen, Come on. If I could get and if I could get Jameson to be on my podcast. Yeah. Precisely, guy. If if we could get uh Hart Fisher, who was a well known comic book creator yes to come on to the show and amongst a, a few times he came on a few times remember yes i i remember uh on the metal on the metal cast i remember and, berries. um i remember berries yeah so it, it's called marketing yourself no matter how small the market might yeah, be it's called networking you have to meet yes. new people to be able to expand your horizons that's that's why I'm a voice because actor this and a culture historian. Because this small audience over here might not know who you are. And then you come in there. And now you've got maybe, say, we had, what, 300 people. Let's just say this. But that's 300 more views you're going to get on your show. Yeah, exactly. You know? Or maybe or maybe 150 more. And it makes a bit of a difference. You know what I mean? That 150 could push you over to a million views on a video. So, you know, I you don't ever so, ever turn down uh, coming on a show unless you know that they're just gonna you know be you know full of crap. You know what I mean? <sighs> and it, it's like I understand that he had well-known friends in the gaming review you know sector of the internet or whatever but if you're just going around in that circle constantly you're never going to expand your audience the you best know? you could hope for is expand dong <laughs> i bet if we would if we would have asked you know like the game chasers or some of the other guys that were from that circle i'm sure they would have hopped on and said oh yeah sure I mean, we had Doug Walker on the show. Yeah. We had 
Um, Obscurus uh, Lupa. Not even Obscurus Lupa. We had a... Yeah, we did actually have yeah. Obscurus Lupa. Yeah. Brad Jones. No, I said not even that. We had Linkara. Yeah, he was on a couple of our shows. Yeah, uh, He was on Mental Cast and You Can't Be Serious. A bunch. Yeah. He had had fun. He had fun doing that. Yeah. <laughs> Zad, Zad Yeah, Gooks. that's still one of my favorite fucking moments is Linkara saying Zad Gooks. And then Dane following up with a little bit deaf I am. Did you say ga- Zad Gooks? <laughs> uh, he thought he was going to trip me up. He almost did. <laughs> I'll be honest. I, he, had, he got shortly, me in the first half. Uh, yeah, I, he had me in the first half. That scene of Alphabet with Dane, with Dane that, and Lewis is still one of my favorite things I've ever recorded. Sure. Yeah, shortly after that episode, it was about two weeks later. I was at a con, and he was there. Did you do? Did and, you do the uh, gooks to him? <laughs> oh, I, I walked right up to him and I said, "Hey, Lewis." He goes, "Hey, I went sad gooks." He goes, "Oh dear lord!" <laughs> <laughs> tell that, tell I that said, asshole I, from Staten Island to lick my balls. I, 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 I said, I said, I said, I was there. He goes, "Were you in the chat?" I said, "No." I was on the call. Yeah, he was in he the goes, show. Oh yeah, Bill. I said I was at the show. <laughs> I was there. He's like, oh yeah, Bill. I went, yeah. <laughs> My God, can you imagine? Can you fucking imagine if he went? Oh, that was so stupid. I don't know why I did that stupid show. Like, <gasps> nah. <laughs> I'm sure it's like, oh God, not even very high on the list of stupid shit he's been a part of that he probably regrets. I'm sure he regrets like oh, yeah, he literally a... everything that he's been in the revolving involving Doug. So, <laughs> channel channel awesome for yeah, one. Yeah, all of the channel awesome anniversary show. movies. To boldly flee. I'm sure he was very not proud of that. He did his own fucking movie, and it was way better. <laughs> it actually was. Yeah, it was way better. It I was better. Watched it. it was like. I'm not gonna say it was like a. I'm not gonna sit here and say it was a super a cinematic masterpiece because you know it's just a bunch of internet people on the internet, you know, having 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 a laugh. Internet people on the internet, internet. Yeah, basically, but it's still better. It was better than the boldly flee, and I'm sure the production went better. He actually got a studio to do stuff in. He actually paid for locations to shoot. Exactly. And try to make sure and try to make sure nobody's around the camera while we're doing this. From what I've heard, you know, different people that have told me, they said they just went oh, to the Oh, what a save that was. It was such a good save they cut to a second secondary angle. That's crazy. They just went to the park and and, and went to like remote areas <laughs> in the park there in Illinois. It just sounded like you said they went to the park and shit. <laughs> Oh, they went to the park in remote areas of the park. And so shit. They could avoid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to avoid people walking a by. A giant and stuff. dump in the park is what you're trying to say. Somewhere in Minnesota, yeah, it, there's a steaming pile yeah. of poo. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, thoughts on gold, Dane? Uh, it was a very bland soccer game. Jason. Really? Oh, it, sorry. It's just lucky that we didn't have a veto. Jason. The shit could have put me to sleep better than NyQuil. Billy. I'd rather play soccer on the NES. Oh, yeah, the first party Nintendo title. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, uh, this it's, is it's far better game. It's our the, like, there's nothing really wrong with this game. It, it plays fine. It's just eh, run of the mill. You played one, you played them all. Scores out of ten, Dane. Yeah, two. Jason, one. Billy, one. I'm going with a one as well. So the crazy thing about that NES soccer game was made by Intelligent Systems. The people who make Fire Emblem. But it's fun. (laughs) 
it's a fun game. It's not hard. It's not difficult. I still find it's it just... hard to believe now that we still, the since the implementation of the choice spaces, still have yet to land on one. That is weird. That is weird. Until now! Nope. We still haven't landed on one. Cool Shibuya! Oh, no! Oh, Imagination no. series! Yeah. Penises! <laughs> oh, God. It's, Behind these walls, King of the King is this? the it's, crown it's, of the Seven Jewels. It's, it's, it's Romance of the Three Kingdoms, but fictitious! No! No! Strategy game! Oh, hey, wait! I found a... I found a surprise Vito in my uh, lunchbox! Yeah! Oh, she's kind of hot. <laughs> Billy, don't, don't ever say that again. Somebody's cooming. <laughs> oh! Uh, out I fired off my my sperm into the sky. Gun fire! And here's the whole game right here. This little map. Oh dear! Oh dear! Two gay lovers looking at a book in a map. <laughs> Two gay lovers. They were, they were playing a spirited game of hide the magic wand. One day. Two brothers ready to fight. Released in Japan as Royal Blood or Super Royal Blood. Royal for Blood. the Super Nintendo version. Love, Royal Blood, I love one, that band. One guy who loves to have sex with lizards. It's uh, released for the MSX, NES, Super NES, FM Towns, Mega Drive, slash Genesis, likes to have DOS, sex. and then later Windows. Hold on, likes to have sex with lizards? You mean Stormy grandfather Daniels? And gr grandfather, <laughs> <laughs> grandfather and grandson who love volcanoes. Die in one. It's a PC-88, PC-98, X-68000. He loved volcanoes. Ironically, his Rick name was Eric. Joe. Prince Eric, who can fit three tops in his mouth. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Girl in a miniskirt. Next to... Uh, Party on, Garth. Me, apparently. <laughs> Party on, Prince Garth. Party on, Prince Wayne. Wayne's word. Wayne's word. Wayne's kingdom. Wayne's kingdom. Celebrate... Excellente! Woo! Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And Dragon King! Uh, should we close we, the uh, door? We, uh, Garth, we're going to the Renaissance Fair to see if we can get, if we can procure thine pussy. Thine swing. <laughs> and here's, and presenting Angry Dragon. These people look very nonplussed for... I know how to them. do an angry dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done the sexual position called Thine Broadway Boogaloo? <laughs> Thy Broadway Boogaloo? You, you go on I... stage and you... <laughs> Have you ever done <laughs> the sexual <laughs> position... <laughs> Known as the human joust. That's where you take off all your clothes, achieve erection, climb on top of a horse, and run full speed using that horse into a woman's vagina. Have you, has thou ever done the sexual position called? Oh, wait, the no, here's the game lovers right here. <laughs> what was that sexual position called? The Black Plague. <laughs> Is that what which is black? Is that what a black man sodomizes you? you? <laughs> no, you, you, thou art a disgusting pig. <laughs> 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 
what it is is you beat your ding <laughs> dong until it gets black and blue, and oh, then you geez. and then you jerk your gherkin until you splooge out a, a combination of blood and and cum and um, and bruise bruise cruise meat. Bruce Cruz. I don't think I thou art stuttered. I f- I'm going to let the right game back. play itself, I guess. You can actually okay. let, let the game play itself, which is nice. I don't want to play this. So <laughs> I'll let I'll let the game do itself. Hey, and like, hey. What? A veto fell off the back of a truck. Just well, I, I'm i sorry for Vito. He should learn how to hold on to trucks. A veto fell off the back of a truck. Yeah. You know, we're, we'll all look the other way if you want to use it. <laughs> but I can. I have morals. Anyway, vagina fart. <laughs> Whatever. Look, I know you want to veto this game. We don't have any vetoes. I'm not going to use a super secret veto. We got to oh. follow the rules. What? The, why? Why have rules if you're not going to use them? Because, because this game is boring. I know this game is boring, but we don't have a choice. We have to suffer through yeah, it. Yeah, but it's a lot easier to make fun of this than make fun of romance of the three oh, absolutely. kingdoms for like so it's easier time. to make fun of this plus I don't have to play the game so I can actually fucking make fun of it too I'm letting the game play itself oh we can make fun we can make fun of romance of the three kingdoms a chain chomping wow <laughs> this uh I don't know why they made these games they're terrible if I wanted to play risk I'm sure I'm sure Ugh. I'm sure there's some oh, real time strategy fan out there who's loving this, who enjoys you know fire. Isn't that right? You, know right. you want you you want to know what's a better real time strategy game? Age of Empires. I'm not an RTS fan at all, so I don't care. <laughs> never been my forte. Never been my cup of tea. Look at those two pink guys. Holy crap. Hey, can I have a pussy, please, boss? Huh. He actually clocked them with those rings. You say clock? Well, uh, on, on Monday Night Raw, uh, Logan Paul used uh, Super Bowl rings instead of the brass knuckles. To hit, oh yeah, because uh, because Patrick Mahomes was at ringside with his three Super Bowl rings, just coincidentally. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and he hit JD McDonough with the uh, with the Super Bowl rings, and holy crap! No, he actually hit him with the rings. That ah, could have been a makeup job. That's a freaking good makeup job if that's the case. Holy crap! Oh, apparently, by the way, uh, they've said. That the PG era is officially over. Well, yeah, considering that uh, Sam Punk uh, called uh, uh, freaking DM Hunk a little bitch on freaking bra- uh, on uh, cable television last night. Yeah, I think uh, the what was supposed huh? to be the signal of the end of the PG era were both uh, Rock beating up Cody and bloodying him, and Paul Heyman's Hall of Fame speech. Hmm. We're supposed to be the end. Although of the that PGA. wasn't televised. What the Hall of Fame speech? Yeah. Yes, it was. No, the Hall of Fame speech was broadcast on Peacock. I thought the Hall of Fame aired on television. It didn't. Nope. Well, Peacock. still, 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 still. I mean, you let Paul Heyman, you know, say "suck my fucking dick," so you know. Yeah. Hard to be PG after that. But, uh, yeah, I, I think it's it's because they're going to Netflix anyway for Monday nights. Yeah, so they're leaning they're, they're leaning toward more adult content. Yeah. Because apparently they're just going to allow 
anything to fly uncensored on Netflix. So, so we're gonna yeah, see some, and, uh, uh, so Monday Night Raw. Rhea Ripley is gonna give Dominic Mysterio a hand job. <laughs> well, Rhea Ripley. Well, she's only got well, they did, she's only got one arm right now, so that's not happening. They did a dirty Sanchez joke last night. They did. Ray Ray said his own son had a dirty Sanchez on his face. <laughs> hey, how many you have a shit stain on your mustache? <laughs> oh no, full frontal. Oh no, it's Nia Jax. I'll see your tits. Hey, you know what? Complain about freaking uh, uh, oh god, I'm already forgetting her name. What's her name? Beating Nia Jax all you want. Liv Morgan. Freaking uh, Liv Morgan. Like complain about that all you want. It's still not as bad as freaking Tony Khan getting assaulted by his own employees and not doing anything about it. Liv Morgan beating Liv Morgan. Liv Morgan beating Nia Jax on Raw. I mean, number one, Nia Jax is going to SmackDown anyway, so who gives a shit? Number two, they're trying to build Liv as a credible challenger for Becky's title, which, I mean, she technically already was, but that just really makes her fucking look strong, which is the point. Yeah, no. Not to mention that, I don't know if you... Liv Morgan beat Nia Jax because Nia Jax is so big and blah, 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 and Liv Morgan's just boring and... Plenty of people beat Nia Jax. Yeah, it's like Nia Jax is a joke. I mean, my whole. Yeah, my whole. Uh, not to mention That's that uh, if you if you check the background while Jay uh, Uso was having the interview, uh, Liv Morgan and then Dominic Mysterio both came out of the same locker room in the background, one right after the other. Uh oh. So uh, yeah, Liv's trying to replace Rhea as mommy. <laughs> mommy. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I have a feeling uh, Liv might actually beat Becky for the title just because Becky doesn't need it. She's really just a transitional to get it. She was a way to get it off of Rhea. Yeah, no, Becky needs the time off, and Seth's taking time off too. Yes. So, you know, but let, she, the, she let them was, be parents. She was given the title in the Battle Royal because it made more sense for somebody to beat her for the title to elevate them rather than just winning it in a battle royal. And Becky winning in a battle royal doesn't fucking matter because she doesn't need the damn title. She's, yeah. She's been there 100,000 times already, you know? So it made sense to give her the title so that somebody could actually beat her for it and, you know, raise their stock in the process. So Liv Morgan winning it in a battle royal wouldn't have meant shit. Liv Morgan beating Becky Lynch for it, that means something. So I get that why they did what? So people people have complained about that, but I'm like, while AEW fans are complaining about WWE for the stupidest reasons, Kevin Nash called out one of the most obvious and bullshit things about AEW recently that had me laughing. Tony Khan got freaking Meltzer drivered by the freaking Young Bucks and sucker punched by freaking Perry. He fired CM Punk for considerably less. Fair. Even though he uh, feared for his life, Kevin Nash is just like I don't know. I don't know about this show, man. I can't even tear my quad while watching this. I'm gonna walk across the room <laughs> to change the channel. Ah! <laughs> like, like, I, I am with Nash on this. Pony, hire some writers to get some shit in freaking order, because like, there's no logic. No storytelling, no nothing. Yes, you can book matches. Good for you. Get your internet up, dudes. Yay. You got some good wrestlers on your roster, Tony, but you're wasting them. Come on, man. Stop shitting in the hors d'oeuvres. There's no compelling storytelling. And isn't that the part of wrestling that's exactly. interesting? Not just the wrestling. That's why I watch wrestling. I mean, yeah, it is for the wrestling, sure, but it's, you know, don't mean shit if, there's, if the story's not good. Yeah. Make it compelling television. That's why people tune in. You know, Don't just be I like, oh, this person writers. is going to fight this person for no seemingly no reason. Just go. Do it. 
Tony Khan, I'm available. Not in that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yes, in that way. Anyway. But also yes in that way because... <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe if she yeah. maybe if you hooked me up with Anna J, then I'd consider it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just I saying. mean, I'm I'm just saying, yeah. I'm just saying, I'm I'm pan, I'm pan and non-binary. Everything is fair game to me. Give me some of that Chris Statlander poo, and I'll I'll write for you. <laughs> that Chris Statlander poo. Hell, even even uh, even freaking Max Caster, like I'm game. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Not judging. Billy, you uh you trying to fuck Max you, you trying to fuck Max Caster? Huh? <laughs> Billy uh Billy doing something with scissors? No, no, I'm eating coleslaw. Oh, that's what they're calling it nowadays. <laughs> I, yeah, wait a second. Like, so Max Caster's they're calling Max Caster's doc coleslaw. Oof. <laughs> that's what happens. That's what you do when you're having sex with Nyla Rose. Never <laughs> coleslaw. I fuck her in a heartbeat. I'm just saying, I fuck her in a heartbeat. I I I think she'd fuck you in a heartbeat too, Jace. I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> with her penis. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, mind you. I think she's fucking hot, but I can't say much. I'm friends with a trans porn star that I've seen completely naked many times. <laughs> so <laughs> I can't. Whether I can't willing, say much. whether willing, whether I mean, I'd suck on her titties. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything below the waist because that's that's I'm not that type of person. But man, I would play with them titties. That's all I got to say about that. <laughs> okay. You play with my does that make, does that make me? Does that make, does that make me a bad person? I didn't. I mean, if it does, then yeah, okay. I'll, uh, you know, all I literally said was and, okay. Lock me up and throw away the cock. The key, I mean, sorry. <laughs> Dra dragon D's nuts. Across your face. Will somebody stop that man from saying dragon? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <Dang> got it. <laughs> Rear assault by the attackers. I'm pretty sure that's how Nyla Rose attacks. No, that's how Nia Jax attacks. Oh, that's fair. Because she's a heel. My hole. The funny thing is that if she had waited like the funny thing is like if she had waited like three or four years to do that, it would have been replayed endlessly on television because Triple H doesn't my give hole, a shit. My hole. Yeah, it's not PG anymore. You could say she could say my fucking pussy for all I care. <laughs> my pussy. Yeah. I landed straight on my pussy. I landed on my pussy. Yeah, and that would fly now. <laughs> Man, wrestling oh, is different now than it was that, five like, years ago. It's crazy. It don't Sh say. Shortly after that, too, there was that obligatory uh, thing, you know, Vince McMahon yelling into the headphones of commentators, Mention the apron! Mention the apron! It's the hardest part of the oh, ring. Oh, it's the hardest part of the ring! Did you know that? I do commentary for XCW now, and every time, as a joke, every time somebody lands on the apron, I, I say that. Did you know it was the hardest part of the ring? And my commentary, wow! and wow! my, my commentary oh. partner's like, "Yeah, I heard that somewhere." <laughs> you no. are. <laughs> we do that with every freaking wrestling show we're yeah. watching on uh, Digital Era. We always make that joke. <laughs> also, one of our referees oh, grew a mustache. One of our referees grew a mustache similar to Dom's, and I and I called. I said it was a Dirty Sanchez mustache. So oh, I'll take credit God. for the I'll take credit for the joke, Raw. <laughs> it's like you've been watching our product. <laughs> How about you kiss my ass? We started putting our logo, our, our our on screen bug in the upper right hand corner, so WWE started moving theirs to the upper right hand corner. It really seems kinda suspect, yeah. honestly, if you ask me. 
I, I think you're over. I think you're overthinking that. Probably, I'm probably over that. I do, I do that a Long lot. Dave, have you met me? Yes, I am I the king met. of overthinking. I, I actually, I, this is some really discordant music. I've met you in person. Like, I, I am the band Go West. Have you I'm the king of you. you. I know oh. I will. Go I'm east. the king of wishful thinking. <sighs> Our scroll is used in the end credits for the Simpsons. <laughs> Plotting strategy. Yep. I'm the king of motherfucking wishful finger. Highland, not Hyrule, Highland. Prince Aaron. Highland I'm Park. It's a in. Waverly place. Anyway, what? Huh? What? Well, who said that? Owen versus Andrew. <laughs> mm. When I think names of people from the 1800s, I think Owen and Andrew. Yeah. No this doubt is about totally it. Totally medieval music, right? Like, that, <laughs> it totally doesn't sound like it's uh, from the Big Trouble in Little China soundtrack. I know, right? <laughs> John Carpenter, did you make the music for this game? <laughs> yes. The end credits of this game is just like... I can feel the wind is rising, baby, in an atmosphere. <laughs> Out of the darkness, baby. Have you ever seen the music video for that song, by the way? The, the Big Trouble in Little China song by the Coupe de Ville's, which is John Carpenter's band. One of the dudes, the dude singing the high part looks like fucking Adam Sandler. Oh my god. It's not Adam Sandler, but it looks like Adam Sandler. Are you sure? It could be me. It's you don't not, know. It's definitely, it is definitely confirmed oh. to not be Adam Sandler, but it How do you show? Because, it's, because John Carpenter has said so in interviews. But it definitely oh, looks like be Adam Sandler. Oh, you better run, boom, 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 run through the mystic night. Boom, run boom, until boom. they take us away. Take us away. That's one of my favorite movie soundtrack songs. Everybody go on in a kayak. You ought to know by now. Seriously, though, that Big Trouble in Little China song by the Coupe de Ville's is, is one of my favorite music pieces of music for me. Movie soundtrack. My favorite music. I wonder if like you wanna. I wonder if Car crack, 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 crack. <laughs> I wonder if Carafun has that in their library. I wonder if Carrot Top has it in his library. The Carafun, the uh, karaoke program that I use to run my karaoke show on Wednesday nights. Uh, I'm hoping that would be nice if it did. That'd be cool. I'm saying. Oh shit, dude! I actually once one night when it was really dead and I just had like seven minutes to kill. I fucking sang the Inquisition from History of the World Part One. Holy crap! The Inquisition. Yeah, that it's, man it's... just farted out of his hands and killed a whole group of people. Yeah, he's a he, he he's, pulled a Billy Carter. He's a wizard, <laughs> Harry. But no, yeah, the, well, I mean, the Inquisition. He is a wizard. It, there, there is a karaoke version of the Inquisition from History of the World Part One, and I sang it, and it was fun. Huh? Oh, wow. Wait, what, you think you're bad at me? It, ha I, uh, it has multi parts, so I had to I had to turn up the vocals on the the backup parts because I can't sing everything by myself. That would be weird. Oh, you! Uh, but I obviously I sang the Mel Brooks parts. Uh, I went to uh, I went to uh, karaoke one time, and that's great, Bill. Anyway, uh, uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, sh I'm, kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. Go ahead. And everybody was singing like. <laughs> Katy Perry songs, so I decided I'm like, okay, baby, you're the, a fire, you work. That's the one I went up and sang, <laughs> but I annoyed everybody in the crowd because I just kept saying one line over and over again. I, uh, <laughs> you, oh yeah, you've told I, me that story before. Too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I walked that. up. I walked up and I just kept on saying, "Do you ever feel?" And it was, and, and people are just like, I got plastic Wait, bag. Is he good? 
<laughs> no, I just kept on going. Do you ever feel? Do you ever feel? Do you ever feel? Do you ever feel? And then people got anno people got annoyed as shit, and then eventually it became oh. funny again. It's like if you do something yeah. long enough that it becomes annoying, but you do it even longer than that, it comes yeah. back around they, to being that, funny again. Then they started laughing. Uh, it's it's the it's the. Um, uh, uh, Andy Kaufman approach. I have sang some. <laughs> I have sang some weird things at karaoke. I sang the uh, "Being in Love Is Like Being on Drugs," the song that John Tron did with the Gregory Brothers. I've sung that one. Being you in love is like being on drugs without the potential brain damage. You wanna know? You wanna know my favorite song that I ever did in karaoke? What's that? Four thirty three by John Cage. Nice. You stood there for four and a half minutes. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> My uh, favorite song I did at karaoke was uh, Scatman. Nice. Scatman. Uh. I uh, I enjoy from time to time singing "Danny, Don't You Know" by Ninja Sex Party. D A N N Y. He is not afraid to. Cry. What? <laughs> he cries and cries and cries. Uh, okay, thanks, guys. Thanks very much. <laughs> Shake it off, shake it off. <laughs> I uh, I went up there and I sung the song Friday, like Christopher Walken. Friday, 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 Friday. Friday. down on down Friday, on Friday. Fun, 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 fun. Oh no! Fun. When I got the when I did the fun, I went fun, 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 fun. I did it like that. <laughs> Friday, Friday. <laughs> Remember. Come is fum. Come is fum. Get down on Friday. Gotta, gotta get ready for the weekend. Ready for the weekend. <laughs> fun, 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 fun. It's, That's why it takes uh, songs that don't that that aren't heavy metal and make them heavy metal by screaming them. <laughs> Twinkle, yeah. twinkle, I love what you do. Don't you know that you're toxic? <laughs> twinkle, Actually, is there is an amazing of cover of that by a band called Local H. That is, I love that Local way. H, dude. <laughs> yeah, Local H did. Uh, what the fuck is the name of that song? What oh haven't they god. done? No, but my favorite song by them is the one. Where you, uh, oh god, how? It goes like this. Peckerwood, Peckerwood. No, I gotta, I gotta look it up now because I, I don't fucking remember. Peckerwood, Peckerwood, sitting in the ocean, making a commotion. It's uh oh, bound for the floor. That's the name of the song. It's um, and you just don't get it. You keep it copacetic and you learn to accept oh, it. You know, you when the guy starts it. getting really into it at the end. And you just don't get it. You keep it copacetic. Yeah, it's, it's, I love that. I've sung that one at karaoke too. It's good. That's, that's such a good song. The world's a subway. It's subway. I've done that one many times at karaoke. People actually sound, think I sound like Raymond. I get, there's three people I always get that I sound like at karaoke that people tell me I sound like. One is fucking Rain Maida from Our Lady Peace. I have been told many times I sound like Getty Lee, which okay. I don't get. I don't the personally see it. The salesman! The salesman! The salesman! And the real time style, he, he sounds. I do sound, I do sing he some sounds... of those songs. He sounds like a little elf with a flute. He's like, hey, no, I, 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 listen, I, I sing Rush songs. I do a lot of them. Uh, don't swallow the poison. Stick it out. Don't swallow your pride. Uh, and the other one that I get, that, the other one that I get that I, I, I think I sound closer to is Claudio Sanchez from Coe and Cambria. Ooh. Yeah. I don't love you. Anyway, uh, thoughts on uh, Jim Fire, Dane? I was not paying attention. <laughs> I fucking hate battle RTS, simulation games. RTS like games, yeah. I get you. Jason? Yeah, I mean, uh, 
this is not nearly as involved as uh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms is. Like, it doesn't seem to be as heavy on the whole, like, Oregon Trail political simulation-y type BS. Um, <clears throat> this this seems to be slightly more Fire Emblem-ish. Um, <laughs> but gem, gem Fire Emblem? This, this ah. also... <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the Japanese title more because it's more brutal, more metal. Royal Blood. Um, well, yeah, Royal Blood is a is a hard rock band. But uh, that that being said, uh, this game is certainly much more tolerable if you use the fast forward button on an emulator. That's fair. I don't know if this one has a. It might. Oh yeah, play. No, that's sad. You probably just don't have it uh, macroed. Uh, I'm sure there's. I I'll find it later probably. Uh, Billy. there's a fast forward button. There's usually a rewind button too. I would rather be playing Oregon Trail <laughs> than this game. Oregon Trail on the ZX Spectrum. If I don't even know if that one exists, but I'd rather be playing that version. It's I'd odd, it, playing, and the, it's funny that you say that Zeti. because uh, when I went out for lunch earlier today, I wore a shirt that said. I wore the, my Oregon Trail shirt. Uh, the you have died of dysentery. Yeah, I have a pin that says that too. Yeah. Um, I I'd rather be pl- I rather play Oregon Trail on a TI eighty eight calculator. <laughs> okay. I'd rather play Pac Man on uh, on a refrigerator magnet. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, uh, using refrigerator magnets. And, I this would game rather stick it in my, my jellyfish ass till it bleeds, catch the drippings in a cup, pour them back into me intravenously. Versus a hundred. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> yeah, this is a. Yeah. I don't. I don't like RTS games. This is either. a pooper. This game is a pooper. Yeah, I, this is so. If I was playing this, I'd probably uh, fall asleep. I'll be honest, but this is the fact that the. Uh, being able to keep a conversation was pretty, pretty lucky to be, to, to be able to do during this game because it's boring. We're talkers, if, we, if we weren't, if we weren't talking about completely anything else, like I would have fallen asleep. This game. There's is gonna that be that boring. one. There's gonna be that one person. I can't. I can't hear the game. I can't. I love these games. It's like, do you also eat your the cat's play- hair? <laughs> That's not like how, stamps. Sir, that's not I how mean, you eat seriously. pussy. Sir, that's not how you eat pussy. I don't know who taught you, but that's not how we do it around here. I mean, people people that like this type of game eat beets and mayonnaise every day, okay? I mean... <laughs> Jesus. People that play these games sniff their underwear because they like the smell of Tide. What? Okay? <laughs> these people that like these games... <laughs> Take their toenails when they're really long He's gone, and everybody. rub them across I, and rub them across. I'm the getting lost. So they can I get am so down. very lost. Okay? These are the type of people <laughs> that go to cat shows and complain there's too many cats. <laughs> I, I'm done. Uh, sc- scores out of 10, Dane, before you leave. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Jason. Uh... Just because it's the number of death in Japan, four. Billy, that's very generous. Buddy. Zero. Yeah, zero. Th- fucking because... zero. I, four is a very generous score. <laughs> yeah. I think that's giving this too much credit. Like I said, it's not a political, you know, Oregon Trailish simulator like the game we vetoed. This seems more Fire Emblemish. You know, I mean, there was a fucking dragon earlier. There are no dragons in Romance of the Three Kingdoms. On this game, on this show, we play Doomsday Warrior, Goal, and Gemfire. Best game of the episode, Dane. You're you're in Matilda's box. Uh, Jason. <laughs> uh, I I guess uh, Street Fighter at home. Uh, Billy. Uh, yeah, probably Doomsday Warrior. Yeah. Uh, my choice is a nuclear winner in uh, <laughs> fucking Chernobyl. Uh, That's my favorite it, SNES. It's <laughs> my favorite thing to play. I usually end up with three testicles. I didn't. Afterwards. I didn't know. Uh... <laughs> I, I I'd rather be playing radioactive dogs falls <laughs> than this game. 
Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. You could have stopped the radioactive dogs. You didn't I didn't know have Metro came out on the SNES. Balls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> thanks for joining us I, on I this just, edition oh of Retro God. Roulette. I, if you I like, just noticed Al Snow was at the award ceremony. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Joe, and Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. We'll